hello you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a girly vlog we have so much to catch up on there's gonna be like a whole mix of everything you guys i have all the home updates i'm gonna be showing you guys my closet and i'm also gonna be showing you my kitchen progress a lot of areas of my home that have finally getting done and finished decorating so can't wait to share with you guys and also and also i have some really great early holiday gifting ideas and they're from abbott line you guys know i absolutely love their jewelry and accessories i'm gonna be sharing that and i also have some packages to unbox and all the things in this vlog so i just figured it would be like a catch-up vlog because it's been it's been a while okay so i wanted to start off i'm sitting in my little foyer area i wanted to start off with the early holiday gift ideas so i just got in the cutest pieces from abbott line you guys have never heard of abbott line they're an amazing jewelry company that makes the most beautiful pieces they're very meaningful and very customizable i love that you could personalize it to if you're gifting it to someone they could personalize it to that person you're gifting it to just to make it extra special and their pieces are top quality they are waterproof they're amazing quality and they feel so luxe and also love that they have a two-year warranty on their pieces so if you're if you have any issues with anything which i have never had any issues with any of my pieces but if you ever happen to offer a two-year warranty so you are good to go and they will help you out um, which i absolutely love so i can't believe it's almost the end of october so that's why i wanted to share some early gifting ideas right now especially if you're getting some customizable pieces it is a good idea also to get them sooner rather than later so that way you could get everything in time and not have to stress about getting anything last minute so i did pick up a few pieces for some family members for the holidays so i'm going to show you guys like how i customized their pieces and then i also got a few things for myself because i absolutely love their pieces i'm always wearing abbott line jewelry literally every single day i actually have some on right now um I have this is like the brace that I'm always wearing so let's start with what I got for my mom and I am so excited about this piece right here this is so pretty now I actually want one of these because I saw hers and then I'm like okay I need one of these I also want to quickly touch on the packaging okay this particular collection from Abbott Lion has the pink packaging which I thought was really really pretty and then you also have the option to add on some customizable gift bags or boxes which is really nice here's an example of one of them like you could do the gift recipient's name on it and then they have a little um wax seal look on here like a little sticker and it's so perfectly like ready to gift so you could have the gift bag and everything all in one and you guys they also have these gift boxes which i've shown before but if you especially for the holidays i think these are amazing and they just add a little extra something so you could get their name on it i got one for my mom last year for christmas um, and it was like perfect to present her gift in that okay so i want to show you guys what i got for my mom so this is such a fun idea so abbott lion has these the stories collection so they're essentially like little charms you could customize up to a certain number of charms on this bracelet and i got my mom's initial in a script font in the middle and then on the left i got the rose icon and then a pink heart and my mom loves like all kind of hearts on jewelry so i thought that was perfect and roses is one of her favorite flowers but there are so many other icons to choose from i could have like a little overlay here to show you guys but they're they're so cute and i just love that you could customize it to make it very meaningful to that person this bracelet is just darling and it has a little slider so it will customize to her wrist size so you guys the other things that i got for my family members so this one i got for my sister-in-law i got this pearl mini bracelet my mom got my sister-in-law the pearl initial necklace last year and she absolutely loves it so i picked out for her to go along with it for this year um, the matching bracelet so this has her initial on it and it has all little mini pearls on it i thought it was so delicate and dainty and perfect for every day because it's like such a classic piece 
So really excited to gift her that. Okay, for my other sister-in-law, I got her this initial necklace. So this is the first option. So it just comes in separate packaging. So it has just the plain chain necklace, which they could wear on its own as well. I just got her initial and that way then she just pops it right on the necklace. And then I pretty much got my grandmother the same, pretty much the same thing as the last necklace. So you get the spear chain necklace. I got her the gold, but it comes in silver. And then I got my grandmother's initial. I'll have a close up so you guys could see. And then I got the December droplet birthstone pendant. So it's perfect to customize. Also, you could add on their birthstone, which is really nice, make it even extra special. So hers is December. So I thought it was really pretty and it just adds a little extra meaning to it. Okay, then a few things for myself. I wanted to show you guys. You guys know I love my pearl tote bag. Well, I got this one just to switch things up. And I thought this was like the perfect winter white bag. So Abbott line also not just makes amazing jewelry, but handbags. And so I got this one and you could do initials or you could do a script name on it if you want to. Okay, for myself, I've got these huggy earrings. I'm gonna do a close up because they are so dainty and so pretty. And I love huggy earrings for just every day. They're just a good, option instead of even stud earrings okay and then i also got so this is the packaging for this one in the dusty pink it's so pretty i got the signature name necklace with the heart birthstone and i thought this turned out so beautiful so i actually wear my signature name necklace all the time but i love this option with the birthstone heart here so i just wanted to get that option this i just thought would be either i I'm deciding if I'm gonna keep it for myself or have, I thought it also would be a great option to just like have it on hand as like a last minute gift that's not personalized. That way, if something pops up last minute when this is like ready to go. So it's nice to have some like classic non-personalized options in your collection as well. Okay, and then this next one comes in this packaging. And you guys, I love this bracelet. This may be my favorite bracelet that I got for myself. This one has the signature name and then it has the little crystal charms and like the little links like this. It's so pretty. And I love, again, has the adjuster. It looks so pretty. So that's all my new goodies and gifting ideas from Abbott line. Like I said, I will have everything linked below for you guys. If you wanna check any of them out. So if you're on the lookout for some holiday gifting ideas for someone, something a little bit different, personalized. This is like perfect and I wanna share a little bit earlier. I also am super excited to share that they gave me a code for two for one so you could get two gifts for the price of one. So essentially buy one, get one free. So I have a code, it's code Karen. You could also scan this QR code and all the items I just shared will pop up right in one page for you to shop. So just to make it a little bit easier and you could use my code for two for one. So that was really exciting. Okay, so now I want to show you guys all the home updates. So for anyone who's confused, they know there's been some confusion in some past videos. As I had mentioned over a month ago that I had moved and built a new house because, uh, which I know is like a shocker and it was even to me, but I personally, I built my, what I thought was my dream home over a year ago and it ended up just being in a location that I was just truly not happy with at all. And I am just so much happier in this location. It ended up just being the best decision for me personally. And at the end of the day, it's just a house. So, but even though I absolutely like loved the house itself, it just wasn't the right location for me personally. So it was a really hard decision. I did not come to that decision lightly. Um, I was back and forth a lot because I was just so torn because I absolutely loved the house. But Ultimately, I just wanted my happiness to be, of course, like at the end of the day, I wanted to be in a better location. And I am just so, in the end now, just like so, it feels like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I just love this location so much more. And now I'm doing a lot of things even in this house that are very similar to my last home anyway, so I could make it very similar. And actually, like I said, getting my kitchen redone, which I had filmed. So I moved into, I, well, I didn't fully move even into this house yet. I'm say, still staying at my parents' house because my kitchen is getting redone. So it's not really like livable right now. So um, in the meantime, a kitchen though is almost done. So I can't wait to share. Um, I had a month ago when I closed on this house, my new one, um, 
I had filmed before of everything of how it came. And now I'm gonna show you guys the progress of everything. So I'm gonna, what you're seeing next is gonna be when I first moved in, you're gonna see those clips and then I'm gonna take you guys to the present moment of how it looks now. Progress in the kitchen. I'm gonna, most of the countertops were taken out. This one still has to be taken out but they did all of the perimeter. They took out the sink and the base cabinet, and this is the state of my kitchen right now. <laughs> so then the range hood is gonna be going in, and super excited to see that. And then the range top, I'm doing the same as I had last time, and then the counters, and I can't wait. I'm so excited. So yeah. And then here is just excess cabinetry. So I actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these somewhere else. I'm not sure. I'm definitely gonna put some in my laundry room. And then we have all this extra. And now this is the current progress. Still have to do the countertops. This is still this old countertop right here. And then the rest are all taken out. And I'm trying to even remember what you guys saw in the last clip. I did get a refrigerator. So that was really good. The range is the same one I had in my old house um, it's the same one obviously it's not connected or anything yet and it all needs to be cleaned up but this is not connected but it is um, I'm not sure if you could see behind this paper I'm gonna kind of keep it on but it has the you can't really see it it has the gold knobs and it also has some gold burners which I really like so it's the same size and everything as the last one Range hood, actually, they were able to find one that matched like the cabinets that came with the house. Cause we had to make some cabinet swaps just to fit the range hood in here. So I'm really excited. Um, I had to order this blower, which I did not know I had to do until it came like later in the project. And that came up as a thing. Cause I like didn't realize that needed to, I didn't realize it didn't come with the range hood. And then we still have to put cabinet poles on there. My contractor is going to do all that and hook up this up. And then the farmhouse sink is placed. It just needs to be um, installed. And this is the faucet and all that good stuff here. So this is like what it looks like right now. This is all dusty and dirty here. And what else? Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, and then I'm going to be putting pendant lights that are in my garage actually right now. The boxes are in the garage, but there'll be two pendant lights right here. They're just capped off. They're gonna be placed there. I did order the countertops yesterday actually, so I finally found something and I'll be updating you guys. I'll have to do an updated vlog because they're not coming for another like two weeks or so which is kind of sad because now I have to still like look at it like this. The water line for the pot filler was placed. So then I'll just have to put, uh, the plumber will come and do the pot filler after they do the backsplash. And that all has to be done too, but it, there is a lot of progress and I'm really excited. Oh, and I have to show you guys the light fixtures. I got the same one that I had in my old house in my morning room. So this is like the, Little, I'm gonna have like a dining table here. I'm not sure what I'm putting there yet, but um, this is a light fixture that did get installed. It's just that these pendants were actually supposed to be up by now, but they did not arrive in time when the electrician was here. So those will have to wait until the next time he comes. And I'll show you guys my little foyer area. Um, this is just like off to the side of the foyer, but um, I got all this wainscoting just done. Painters just finished up the work actually the other day to paint over all the trimming. But I am so happy, you guys, the wainscoting makes such a difference in the house. It's just insane how much it changes everything. It just adds like a pop to the walls. I don't know. It's just so good. So I'm really happy. I had the, the wains going in my last house too, so I really liked that. So I did this in a few rooms and I used my all my old decor from my last house. This is the table, my two prints, and then I have my tray. This is all older decor. I'm not sure though, it might still be available. So I'll see what's available. I can link it for you guys. But let's go upstairs. 
Okay, we're in my bedroom right now. I have so much work to do in this room. I just washed the sheets. I had saved them for my new house. I got them a while ago over the summer, but I just am like, you know, I'm gonna save them for my new house. And that way I just have some, it's nice to have some like newer things sometimes. So I got these sheets from Love Shack Fancy and you guys, I am obsessed and they're so pretty. I still, I'm gonna, they're just gonna be in rotation with the other white sheets that I have. The other white ones I have are so much softer, I feel like, but these are super cute. I thought they were a cute print. Um, so yeah, I have to make the bed. I have the mattress protector that comes with the mattress. I just have that in the wash so that I have to wait for that. But this is, I'm so glad like the headboard fits really well with like the wallpaper. It all like came together better than I thought it was going to. So the wallpaper I actually got installed before I even moved in. It was like the day after I closed on this house, I got the wallpaper installed, which is Really good tip if you have to get wallpaper, do that. If you're moving into a house, like get it, you know, done before you move all your furniture because it's just so much easier and it's out of the way. So that's what I did. And then um, I have my Amazon curtains from my last house and all the same furniture. So literally just all the same. This has to all be unwrapped. I can't find my wire cutters to cut these hydrangeas down. These are those faux hydrangeas from Amazon. I want to cut them down to this vase size, but I can't find my wire cutters. So. You know how it is if you're like, if you pack things up and can't find half the stuff. So um, I have to find that. And what else? I'm gonna show you guys, I'll pan out. This is, I wanna wash the duvet cover. So I have to do that. This is like so heavy, this thing. I have, the, I got this bench. Um, I don't know if I, did I show it to you guys? Maybe I did. And then my nightstands here, I just have a few. I have to get, I think I need to do a different lamp. I'm gonna use these lamps somewhere else in my house, but I wanna do something with like some more warmth because there's just so much white. I feel like it looks a little stale. So I think I need to add something with more warmth. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'll use, be sure to use those somewhere else because I could definitely use them in my house somewhere. Um, and then, my nightstand just have a few things, but this is not, obviously it's not styled or anything. I just was placing everything out of the boxes. And then over on this side of the room, I have my vanity. Did not even fill it yet. I have to put the prints. You guys remember the last girly vlog, I um, did the Parisian prints. So where even are those? They're somewhere in here, but um, I'm gonna do all the prints here with the command strips. I have to order some more. Yeah, I have to fill these drawers up. But I'm gonna do those Parisian prints and then, and then here's my little OTD. I figured I put this mirror in here and that would be a cute area to do some outfit of the days. So I have no lighting in here, by the way. I have a chandelier on order. So I have to get that installed. Otherwise I have like no lights besides that lamp in this room. There's like no lights in here. So um, it's a little dark right here for now, but that will change for the future. But I, I really like this mirror right here. It's have like a floor length mirror like when I'm getting ready. And then over here I have, I put this print. I had this um, in my downstairs in my last house, but I decided to bring it up here. The glare is kind of hard to see the print, but I absolutely love how that looks on there. And this dresser is actually ended up being like a good size. I think it's um, a little bit smaller than most dressers, but I really like that actually because it's not so oversized and bulky. So I really like that. And I have like all of my, I have to still organize this, but I have like pajamas and all my organizational bins in there. And I have to still organize it a lot. I kind of was just like throwing some things in there and then I have to style this with some books and flowers and stuff. And then, and then before I show you guys my closet, which is right over here, I'm gonna show you guys the before because I think uh, that would be fun to see first. Okay, and then this is my disaster of a closet. So my dad took off the shelving units here. They were like these wire racks. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot going on in here. Um, I have like just all stuff on the floor just because I didn't want to, I didn't have any place to really organize. And this will just be basically like floor to ceiling, you know, storage. This one, I'm not putting any shelves from Ikea here because um, I think it's just gonna be too tight in here. 
Okay, here's <laughs> some of my other clothes. I like literally have all these piles everywhere. My furniture will be coming in because um, it's at my old house still. So that I have the movers will be coming in for the final move of all my actual like main furniture because I use my furniture to stage my house to sell. So this is all stuff. I was just traveling to Dallas, Texas for the LTK conference. And this is all, <laughs> this is all my like gifting stuff that they gave in like the little, I'll show you guys. The, they gave this like tote bag. And you guys, look how cute this hat is. They embroidered my handle on it. I thought that was super cute, but there's like all these amazing goodies that I can't wait to try. Can't wait to try this. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Um, yeah, tart, <laughs> like literally super generous. And all these amazing brands, free people. So this I have to clean up. I literally just was on packing. I still have even clothes from the move like in these like garbage bags because, and I'll reuse them of course, but that's an easy way if you're just like transporting clothing, just like put a garbage bag over it to protect it. And yeah, so this is the state of my bedroom right now. Okay, are you guys ready for the after? Here we go. Well, it's half after because I still have the other half to do. So this is the first half and it is officially done. Let me pull this door back so you guys can see. So this is the first half of the closet that we finished. So my dad put together, he was so sweet to do all these units. He did end up hurting his back. So I feel so bad. And I ended up having to finish some of these drawers. So it actually ended up not being as bad as I thought I was gonna be to put it together. So I put it all together all these drawers, but he gets like total credit for putting together all of the units. And that was like a lot of hard work. Um, I would definitely never be able to lift these though. Uh, but Ikea does deliver and they actually brought everything up to the second floor, which was really nice of them. And I was like only 50 more dollars for them to like deliver into your home, into any room of your choice. So that's an option for you guys. If just, just, just wanted to let you guys know, because I thought that was really helpful. Um, yeah, actually maybe only even like $30 and for them to lift all these units up the stairs that saved like a lot. So um, that was really helpful. And so this is the first half of the closet already done. And well, somewhat done. I, as you could tell, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done and I still need to fill all this up, but I've been working at this and I'll show you guys the other half that is not completed yet. So I'm going to order the same number of units. It's going to be the same thing. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I only ordered half to start just because I was not sure like how this would all, you know, play out. So I'm really happy with it. So I'm just going to like flip it over to the other side, same thing, and still have all this stuff, you know, to fill. This is the reality of what I am working with right now. Look at the difference of the two sides, but the drawers really help with like a lot of stuff for like, you know, trinkets and stuff and pouches. And I'm going to do like a travel section. So yeah, this is what I have left to put together. It is quite a bit, but um, yeah still have all these clothes to put away into some cabinets and units and all that and I'll show you guys what I did over here so far and I have to get someone to come and like install handles on here because there's no other way to open this other than you know pulling from the bottom so up top here I did more like spring and summer dresses and so from right to left, I did like white florals to like solid white to pinks and all that, pretty much all pink. So I have all those dresses up top here. And then on the bottom level, I did more like seasonal, like fall, winter and like sequin special occasion. So I have some darker colors over here. I have, these are like more of my fall dresses. And then I have, I did you guys like a major closet clean out by the way. And um, I have all my sequin dresses over here. So I figured I would do like a whole section on sequins 
and all that fun stuff. And then I love the doors too, by the way. In my last IKEA units, I'd never had the doors and I love the doors. Which, by the way, I ended up, so I had, in my last house, I got a quote from California Closets, by the way, to do um, a custom closet. You guys won't even believe how much I was quoted. Just take a guess in your head right now how much you think, you know, a closet, like, it was a little bit bigger than this room, but, like, how much would you think? Well, think of a number. Well, they quoted me $37,000. I... I just couldn't even believe it and that wasn't even a consideration for me so that was like way 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 more than I wanted to spend so the Ikea is like significantly much more budget friendly um I think this was like I don't even remember but a fraction of the price you could see all the units like some units are only like a hundred dollars for like a whole unit so significantly more budget friendly if if you don't want to pay the money on a custom closet which by the way if you have that in your budget that is amazing and they look absolutely beautiful but i just did not want to spend that kind of money on a um closet so i'm really happy with like this is like the look for less and it, this looks really nice and you could add handles to make it look a little bit more custom and by the way and also like i know these like kind of don't they look a little unsightly so i ordered these from amazon i mean they're still like not the best option i mean you probably could get these like filled and painted if you really wanted to like make it look extra custom but like i feel like i would want the option for the future to use them again so i just got these sticker covers from amazon i got them for my bookcases that you guys see in my backgrounds of my videos for my my try on room um so I just use those and they look pretty decent. So um, up here, I just have some extra bags and things I'm still organizing. And uh, over here I have maxi dresses. So I got this like slimmer unit for long dresses and um, just have these here, these little PJs. And yeah, these are all like my maxi dresses and like long length dresses, which ended up being nice. And then in here I did, pouches and fanny packs in here and then at the bottom i'm probably gonna end up shifting some of this around eventually and then i did other pouches in here i did my luggage back here in this corner unit which i also did not have before so the corner unit makes it so you could fit it together like that this has all my sweaters and all that for fall and then i may switch some of this around i'm not sure so this I filled with stuffing, but I have to make it like look prettier because I don't want to see that at the top. And then I have my other luggage. Oh, and the painters came to like pat this used to be all wire shelving you guys saw in the before. And they um spackled and patched up and painted this whole wall. So now it looks brand new, which is really nice. And so I we now we just gotta do the same thing over on the other side. So yeah that is pretty much these are all shoes in here so i think i'm gonna do like a shoe wall over here that's the plan and i have all these bins these are all amazon travel back here in these bins it looks really chaotic but it's actually like mostly organized back here um i have like you can see it says like amazon travel on these um bins so i have like a lot of like my neck pillows and duffel bags and pouches and gadgets and all that stuff that I like to share with you guys and I, I like to use um they're all in there and I want to like put that into a unit as well so I could see everything and yeah there's there's a lot happening in here but I want to show you guys the progress I'm so excited of how it's coming together but I'll be sure to update you guys oh and I'll show you guys how these look really quick I'll put a couple on so that you guys could see what it looks like before and after okay I just did one row right here really quickly it took like 30 seconds super easy but um it just makes it blend a little bit more than just like the dark holes right there so i think it just makes it blend just a little bit more i think it makes it a little bit more seamless so that's i have to do all these other ones but um i'll just you know do maybe one unit every day or something just so it's like you know because it is a little tedious but yeah i got these right on amazon they're really inexpensive so if you have any furniture like really not just ikea but any of the furniture that may have like little holes or like 
even like on this thing i don't know you could get larger sizes this is not gonna fit on here but i could put it like let's see i can just put this right over here oh. like that even looks so much better and seeing that like screw there you could buy some larger ones so i may have to do that for that but it just i don't know it just makes everything look a little bit more put together it just kind of blends it right away the packages that i got in that i want to unbox with you guys is i love watching people on package things so i got in an order from lululemon so let's open this up So I got three things. Okay, so first thing I got is, oh my God, this is so adorable. This little makeup pouch, and I just love all things Sharpa, especially recently. Oh my God, this is so even cuter in person. So this little pouch, it has a little Sharpa, but that was adorable. I also wanted to try out this, I just have a thing for belt bags. I don't know what it is. But like so good for like every day and so i got this one i thought this color would be really nice neutral because i've been like on tone on tone neutral kick lately so i thought this would be a really nice option and it has the matching color belt a little belt bag so i thought that would be cute for like a sporty day and then next item which i was the, this was the first thing i originally wanted to order and it is oh my god so cute this cutie little backpack so cute and it's sherpa and you could also wear it like crossbody there's a couple ways you could wear it but i thought this was super soft and like cozy looking and it seems like it would fit quite a bit it's kind of like their um, belt bag with the Sherpa that I originally got um, well, my mom has it and I've shown it to you guys before I have the Amazon version but um, this I thought was a really cute option too okay this came in from Amazon I don't know about you guys but you ever get your Amazon packages just like they literally put the packaging itself on the porch you could just like it just literally comes like this with the, the labels just on the back so that's how it's been coming but I got this um, food wrap dispenser so you could put like parchment paper or saran wrap on either side and then it has like a little slider to cut it so i thought this was like a good little amazon gadget and find and that way it makes life a little bit easier so i'll be sure to report back on this you you might be seeing this in an upcoming amazon favorites if i really like it, it has like it's kind of like a paper cutter so i'll have to figure out how to set this up but i thought this was a really nice option for the kitchen okay next package this one open what is this oh i got a potato cutter so this is like a crinkle cutter knife i'm not even gonna open this but it's just a knife that has like a zigzag thing so when you cut potatoes if you're making like crinkle cut fries you could make it at home that way so i thought this would be nice either with sweet potatoes or regular potatoes I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did and you want to see like more vlogs and want me to show more home updates, let me know if you guys like this kind of content. Give this video a thumbs up and so that I know you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for all the really fun, exciting holiday content. I can't wait to share more. And any, anything that I shared in this video, just check out that description box. It'll all be linked below. And then also if you're on a mobile device, just tap the title of the video and it will all expand there. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video very soon. Love you guys. Bye.